Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to determine the concentration of an acid or alkali in moles per decimeter cubed and in grams per decimeter cubed from the reacting volumes and the known concentration of one of the two solutions. This is for triple chemistry higher only. In the last video we looked at how to carry out a titration. In this video and in the next one we're going to learn how to carry out a titration calculation. Here's a sample question. 17 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid were required to neutralize 25 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide with a concentration of 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. Calculate the concentration of the acid. So how do we tackle a question like this? We start by writing the letters C equals, N equals and V equals under both the acid and the alkali like this. Now we enter the information we've been given. Remember that we need to convert all volumes to decimeters cubed, and to do that we divide them by 1000. The concentration of the sodium hydroxide is 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed, and the volume is 0.025 decimeters cubed. The volume of the hydrochloric acid is 0.017 decimeters cubed. Now we calculate the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide solution. To do this we multiply the concentration by the volume. 0.1 multiplied by 0.025 tells us that we've got 0.0025 moles of sodium hydroxide. Looking at the chemical equation, we can see that there are no large numbers in front of the acid or the alkali. In chemistry, if there's no large number, then that means 1. So we know that 1 mole of hydrochloric acid reacts with 1 mole of sodium hydroxide. We've got 0.0025 moles of sodium hydroxide, so we must also have 0.0025 moles of hydrochloric acid. Now we can calculate the concentration of the hydrochloric acid, and to calculate the concentration, we divide the number of moles by the volume. Dividing 0.0025 by 0.017 gives us a concentration of 0.147 moles per decimeter cubed to three decimal places. Now in the exam, you could be asked to calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed. To do this, we multiply the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed by the relative formula mass. The relative formula mass of hydrochloric acid is 36.5. Multiplying 0.147 by 36.5 gives us a concentration of 5.366 grams per decimeter cubed. Here's a question for you to try. 10 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid were required to neutralize 25 centimeters cubed of calcium hydroxide with a concentration of 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. Calculate the concentration of the acid in moles per decimeter cubed and in grams per decimeter cubed. Pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, so first we write the letters C equals, N equals and V equals under the acid and the alkali like this. Now we enter all the information we've been given. The concentration of the calcium hydroxide is 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed, and the volume is 0.025 decimeters cubed. The volume of the sulfuric acid is 0.01 decimeters cubed. Now we calculate the number of moles of the calcium hydroxide by multiplying the concentration by the volume. 0.2 multiplied by 0.025 tells us that we've got 0.005 moles of calcium hydroxide. Looking at the chemical equation, we can see that one mole of sulfuric acid reacts with one mole of calcium hydroxide. We've got 0.005 moles of calcium hydroxide, so we must also have 0.005 moles of sulfuric acid. Now we calculate the concentration of the sulfuric acid by dividing the number of moles by the volume. Dividing 0.005 by 0.01 gives us a final concentration of 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed for the sulfuric acid. To calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed, we multiply the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed by the relative formula mass. The relative formula mass of sulfuric acid is 98. Multiplying 0.5 by 98 gives us a concentration of 49 grams per decimeter cubed. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on titration calculations in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. In the next video, we're going to look at how we tackle more complicated titration questions. Music